Well, in Minnesota, there isn't really any opportunity to play Division I lacrosse, or really any collegiate lacrosse at the time that I um, was looking for a school to go to. And so I was looking to go out east without having to go super far away from home, because I am kind of a homebody and I'm really close to my family. And so when Coach Manis emailed me and offered me the opportunity to come visit Detroit Mercy, I jumped on it right away. And I'm not going to lie, when I was coming down the streets of Detroit, I wasn't sure if it was for me. But the coaches, the atmosphere, all of the academic that was offered to me, it really seemed like the best fit for me, and so I found myself in Detroit, and I couldn't be happier with my decision. Best moment in my career, I kind of have two. One's more personal oriented and one's more team oriented. Um, my favorite moment personally was when I scored against Notre Dame. Um, growing up, Notre Dame was my dream school. I really wanted to go there both for its academics and its rich um, ac uh, athletic history. And I mean, it really wasn't going to work out for me. And so scoring against them was kind of the best like way to put the dagger in it. And like, you could have had me, but I came here instead. And um, for a best team moment, I think, was beating Old Dominion in the conference tournament last year year. We had gotten beat by them in the league and I don't think that they expected us to come out and take it to them, but that's just what we did and I think our team really feeds off being the underdog, so it was a really cool moment for us to rise to the occasion. When I graduate um, in the fall, I will be attending St. Catherine University, which is in St. Paul, Minnesota, and I will be a part of their two-year Master of Physician Assistant program. So I hope to get that education and then go on to be either an emergency room uh, physician assistant or a surgical orthopedic PA. Funniest moment was actually this year when we were driving home from a game and um, someone got the idea to play um, deaf karaoke. So you put the earphones on and you listen to the song and then you have to just belt it out but you can't hear what you sound like. And so everyone participated. It was super funny. And then Coach Marion goes last and all of a sudden she can sing. <laughs> it was just like a hidden secret. Like no one knew and she, she was the best singer on the bus. So it was really fun to see that. So when going into senior year, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I really enjoyed junior year being able to be an upperclassman, but also not being able to ha not having all the responsibilities that you have being a senior. So I was a little nervous coming into this year. Um, but the upper uh, the underclassmen rather made it really easy to adjust to that. And um, I'm someone who's a little bit more quiet on the field, but I kind of lead by example. So I think that a lot of the younger girls were able to see that. And another cool thing was when girls come up to me about asking questions about the offense or how a play is supposed to work. And I think that I was able to step into that position and be able to answer their questions and they could trust me and that they also respected me for that which was a cool thing to see.